A 12 News exclusive cars without drivers are here. Yeah, it sounds like something out of the Jetsons, but get ready because you may look over at the car next to you and see it rolling down the street with no one behind the wheel and no backup safety driver either. Now all of us can now use Waymo's self-driving car service, but there's a lot of people out there who are saying no way that's going to happen. All right, Team 12's William Pitts was brave enough to go in the car. He <laughs> takes us for a ride inside of this robot car and shows us the safety measures in place to keep us safe. This is weird. This is wild. There's nobody in this car. A Waymo minivan going 45 miles an hour with no driver. So I really want to know what these people who are driving alongside this car think when they look over and realize there's nobody in the driver's seat of this car. It's one of hundreds of Waymo cars that you can ride right now in the East Valley. Waymo's car service has been live for all of us to use since October. For about the same cost as an Uber or Lyft, you can hail a driverless car and take a ride. Hello, Waymo. Waymo invited 12 News for an exclusive trip in one of its autonomous cars, anywhere we wanted to go. And off we go. Waymo's cars have been around for 11 years now. They've been driving themselves for four years. At first, with safety drivers to correct the car if it did something wrong but not anymore. When one of these cars learns something over the years, they all learn that thing. So one of these cars has more experience on the road than any driver. And after a while, you just get used to not having a human driver behind the wheel. Building that uh, sense of like every day is actually a critical part of the experience that we want to build as well. The system isn't perfect. The car picked me up in a parking lot one time, but not a second time. I had to walk to find the car. I'm not right next to Starbucks, but I'll take it. And the route may not be the fastest. This trip to Starbucks took me through a residential neighborhood and avoided busy intersections. The route is up to the car's programming. And it only works in a specific part of the East Valley, Tempe, Mesa, and Chandler, for now. I still think that this is one of those technologies where, as people experience it, it'll be like their first iPod moment. Um, before they heard an iPod, they couldn't work out what on earth this was about. Afterwards, they couldn't work out how they could live without one. Arizona does have some pretty relaxed rules about self-driving cars, but the federal government also said the lack of rules is unsafe. In 2018, an Uber self-driving car hit and killed a woman crossing the street in Tempe. The safety driver wasn't paying attention, and the car didn't stop. The NTSB found problems in Uber's technology, culture, and what they called the state's insufficient oversight. Uber has since left Arizona, but there are countless other companies still testing in Arizona. But so far, only Waymo has been able to bring their cars to market. It doesn't mean that they've been perfect here. I don't think anybody could be. But they're certainly being smart in terms of how they're ensuring the safety and the utility of the technology. Waymo says there are plans to expand the service past the East Valley and even to other states, but the company can't say when or how far. Until then, the service is up and running and waiting to drive you. This car is all yours with no one up front. Without a driver. William Pitts, 12 News.